What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna talk about Gummy Bear Cereal. And I gotta tell you right up front, this will probably be a shorter video, but that's only because I don't have a lot of stuff to show you or say about this cereal. And I could have combined this with some other random boxes in another video, but I feel like this one deserves its own video because there's so little information about it on the internet. And one of the reasons for that is that it wasn't released here in the US. This was a Canadian cereal. But before we get into this box, I guess we need to briefly discuss the Gummy Bears. The Adventures of the Gummy Bears was a cartoon created by Walt Disney Animation. It premiered in September of 1985 on NBC in the Saturday morning cartoon block. The cartoon lasted for six seasons. It eventually moved to ABC. And then when it concluded, the reruns would air on the Disney Channel, Toon Disney, and now you can find the whole series on Disney+. Plus. The premise was, I guess, just this group of magical bears living in this fantasy medieval realm that would get into adventures. I imagine they were loosely based on the gummy bear's candy, but that never really came into play or played a role in the cartoon. There were six main gummy bear characters, Cubby, Sunny, Gruffy, Tummy, Grammy, and Zummy. The most memorable thing about the show for me was the theme song. And while I don't think I can play it for you here for copyright reasons, if you just search it, Google it, it'll come up and that earworm will be stuck in your head all day. Also, as I mentioned, this show is very much a Disney creation. They even rethemed a ride at Disneyland for the cartoon. Back in 1991, they changed the motorboat cruise, which used to be a ride over there by Autopia, to the motorboat cruise to Gummy Glen. And they also had gummy bear characters in the park that you could meet and take pictures with. Okay, so now that you know more than you care to know about the gummy bears, let's take a closer look at this box. You can see up here in the corner, it was released by Quaker Oats, so they must have negotiated a license deal with Disney for this cereal, but I guess only in Canada. It might be easier to license certain properties outside of the US. For example, there was a Muppet Baby cereal released in Mexico. We never got a Muppet Baby cereal here in the US, which is a shame because I love that cartoon. I would have definitely bought that cereal. But back to this box, you can see it has both English and French on the box, which is a dead giveaway that it's a Canadian cereal. You have all the gummy bears playing in the background there. Then you have Zummy and Sunny standing here by this bowl of cereal that kind of looks like a bowl of gummy berries. Those were the berries that the bears collected to make gummy berry juice, a liquid that possessed magical powers. Now those berries are multicolored, as you can see here in the little basket, but the cereal is just pink or reddish corn puffs. And because this is a Quaker cereal, we can kind of put two and two together and assume that this cereal was probably just crunch berries. This was probably just an early cousin to the Oops All Berry cereal that would come out like a decade later. And eventually the Oops All Red Berry cereal that just came out recently. So that's a cool little interesting tidbit. Now it says here this cereal came with free scratch and sniff stickers. Before we look at the back of the box for details, let's look at the side of the box here. Up top it has all the ingredients and nutritional information, and then it gives you a brief summary of the legend of the gummy bears. Deep in the forest near an ancient oak tree lies Gummy Glen, the home of the famous gummy bears. Few folk have seen them, so it's believed they exist only in fairy tales. But these little friends are very real indeed. Whenever there's an adventure brewing, you're bound to find Cubby, Sunny, Gruffy, Tummy, Grammy, and Zummy Gummy very much involved. Yeah, that's basically what I said earlier. Let's take a look at the back of the box now. Again, it has both French and English here. They show you the stickers that you could collect in this box with all six gummy bears. It said there were three different sticker sets with different pairs of characters. And I bet they all smelled like delicious fruity crunch berries. Wish I had some of those stickers to show you. And I wish I had an unopened box of this cereal so I could show you what it looked like. But we can kind of guess what it looked like, right? So let's just pretend. This is what a bowl of gummy bear cereal from Quaker looked like back in 1987 just like some pale red crunch berries. I would have loved to get this cereal in the US and I'm sure it would have sold just as well as other licensed kid cereals. I wonder if there's an explanation as to why it only made it to Canada. I guess we'll never know. I can't find any commercials of this stuff, really any pictures of the box or any info about this stuff online. If you remember eating this stuff back in 1987, please let me know down in the comments. All right, well, I guess that's gonna do it for gummy bear cereal. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Serial time, serial time.